cousin will be coming to stay with us for one week during her vacation. Who is Lara? Lara. Lara Toyebi. I said my cousin. Okay. Fine. You want... Guess what? What? We are moving to the staff quarters. S staff quarters? As soon as possible. Staff quarters. Why? When? When did you decide that? You didn't discuss anything of such with me. Mm. Uh, I hope all is well. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Good night, dear. Oh. Good night. Huh? Thank you for giving me such an understanding wife. I need to apologize to her. I must have hurt her. Oh God, help me. Please wake up. I need to talk to you. Honey, what is it? What is it? Sorry. Um, I want to let you know that I am sorry for the way I've 
I have handled the staff quarters issue. And I also want to let you know that I have dropped the idea of going to the quarters. Oh, no. Why? You think I'm still hungry? No, I'm not. No. That's not the case. It's 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 just that I have realized the fact that I didn't handle it very well. I ought to have consulted you and sought your opinion about it before jumping into conclusion and making decisions like that. More more so we we also need to seek the face of God and know whether He wants us to live here or not. That's what I mean. Okay. So, what do we do now? <sighs> we'll drop the idea for now. And when our minds are clear, we can present it back to God and know His mind about where He wants us to stay. I agree with you. All right. Just sleep. Sweetheart. Hmm? You can tell Lara that she's most welcome whenever she wants to come over. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Been to our house since we got married. You're welcome, Ma. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, you are not annoyed with me. Hmm? I've delayed in coming. I'm so sorry. You see, we women, we don't stop taking care of our boys. Sorry, I mean to say our husbands. <laughs> Even in their old age, they still behave like boys. Mama, you are laughing. See, you will soon understand. Just wait and see. Then Ma has just started showing you. He's so much like his father. <laughs> anyway, I brought some things for you. This is a room. How you will like using it. It's very good. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Have it now. Oh, please. Why? You don't like it. It's very nice. Is it because of the odor? Oh. Mm. The odor is natural with the room. It's very good for sight. Someone should do something about the odor. Ah, there is nothing one can do about it. The odor is as a result of the fermentation. Hmm? It's natural, straight from nature. Anyway, 
I'll get used to it. I also brought Adu, yes, and fried melon. I believe you will like it. Yes, ma. Adu is there as well. This one contains fried fish and crayfish. Oh. Mm. oh, Mama, how were you able to pack all those things all the way from Marawali? Ah, now the one talking like this. If I don't have time to pack them for you, then who will I pack them for? Thank you so much, Mama. You're welcome, Thank my dear. You. You're blessed. May God give you the grace to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Thank, mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Is she my dear? Fine, fine, fine. Hey, uh, you're welcome. You didn't even tell us that you'll be coming. Hey, I tried. I called several times. But it was not just going. I just came around by faith. In fact, your father tried so much to discourage me. But I insisted. Hmm. Because you people should have been through with the only one. Isn't mm -hmm. it? Um, actually, if what we learned from you and dad is anything to go by, then I think we have not returned. Uh, um, and I think we should still have about maybe 85 more years. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you need to see mom and dad at home. You will be thinking they just got married last month. <laughs> you can imagine this old woman and her husband. They still chase themselves about in the house. <laughs> I'll be so, so, so surprised if mom decides to stay more than a week here. <laughs> One week? What will I be doing for one week? Mm -hmm. No, I won't spend more than three days. I will not like to stay away from my husband for more than three days. Uh, Mama, oh. <laughs> love one thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, be rude. I will go. Not me, thank you. That's me. I wish my husband is like that. And what does that mean? <laughs> it will be like that. He's not a bastard. My husband is his father. He's in the blood. He must be. Then more. Oh, Mama. The humor is hard. Oh, hard? That is his father for you. He took after his father. I remember when I got married 28 years ago. I initially thought the marriage will not last more than one year. Because Baba Dewumo was very strict, although loving. I started imagining what life would be after divorce. But after some times, I left everything for God. And by His grace, He has saved us thus far. Hmm. You see, thank God we were believers before we got married. If not for that, the story would have been different. He can't disturb Mrs. He helped our relationship to be stabilized. And here we are by his grace alone. I know that it will be well with you because you two are Christians. Hmm. He will surely see you through. Mama, thank you. That was an incisive lecture. Uh. Maybe we should call that marriage one to one because many more lectures are coming. <laughs> Mama, you don't ask me to give you this one. Hey! Yes. Ah! God oh. bless her indeed. Ah! God bless her indeed. Mm. It's the original one. Of course, yeah. what do you expect? Yeah. We don't get the original one here in Lagos. It's only one of our family friends. Um, Zach Fall. Okay. Zach Fall, honey. That's the only place we get the original one. Mm. Mm, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mama. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. You didn't bring the green. The green. How will I pack that from Marawali? It won't be good again. But don't worry. I have some ingredients with me. I will make one before I go. Eh? Before you go? Yeah. <laughs> Today. Ah. Uh -uh. uh -uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Since when have I eaten bakery before? Anyway, you need to learn how to make bakery from her. And, um, yeah, they woman. You need to teach her how to make bakery mm. uh, before you leave. Eh, Jumobi. Ma, you don't know how to make bakery. Um, I don't, Ma, but I'll be glad to learn from your cuisine experience. Eh, uh, yeah, they woman. Don't mind my wife. She's a jebo. She grew up in the University of Ibadan compound. Primary school, staff school, secondary school, international college, first degree, University of Ibadan. <laughs> Mama, don't mind him. See, I doubt if she ever stepped out of UI compound until I married her. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, you better thank me for bringing you out. Mama, don't mind him. Anyway, let me go and prepare your room. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Mama, is there no way Iru can be packaged like other condiments? Oh, no way. <laughs> You know, the natural stuff is better. Also, you cannot trust a lot of all these, I mean, a lot of these condiments. There is this only one that I stick to for the past 28 years of our marriage. Mm. And that is Iru. Iru Woro. Yes, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, my husband told me before we were married that you use Iru for just about any soup. But I don't like the smell. Ah, but there is nothing you can do about it. You see, from now on, you must start using it. You will enjoy it. It's very, very good. The combination of your room with any soup, in fact, can turn any man's head around. Yeah, that is my 28-year-old secret. Why do you think it's difficult for my husband to eat from any other woman's pot? Hmm. Even when I was a teacher, Baba Deuma will never eat until he gets so. And now that I'm retired, I have enough time to pamper my husband. Kosaru <laughs> Bongana. <laughs> yes, so. You see, you have to learn how to use it. It is very good. It's very good. See? Huh? Take now. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't know why you said you don't like this. Can you perceive the aroma? This is nice. Sweet. <laughs> By the time we finish the kitchen, I will see what I'm talking about. It. it means you must learn how to make it like this. I'm telling you, it's sweet. You will enjoy it. Sweetheart, I um, have found the scripture you were trying to look at yesterday. It's in the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse. Let me read. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a great feast of fat things. Jumabi, what is it?
Jumabi. I don't think you are a stranger to me anymore. I know when you are okay and when you're not. So please just tell me what is wrong. When is Mama going to Arawole? Why? Just answer me or else I won't say any other thing. <laughs> okay. Actually, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But actually, she shouldn't be spending more than three days max. That's unfortunate. You should ask her to stay here forever. Are you alright? I don't understand you. How would you understand? Persuade Mama to stay here so that she can cook all your meals. At least she's a better cook. <laughs> I know you're joking anyway. Just tell me you're joking and, and, and that's all. A joke. Let's wait and see. You better persuade Mama to stay so that she'll cook all your meals. She should stay here forever and just keep cooking for you. She should take over. <laughs> see, just tell me that what you are saying is not true. <sighs> you made me a bad cook in front of Mama as if I don't even know how to cook anything. You, you were just insulting me in front of her because of what? Honestly, just come off it. Just tell me it's not true that you're just playing with me. Let's wait and see. Okay. Um, Jumabi, honestly, I, I, I am sorry. I'm sorry. I can't be comparing Mama's food with yours. Eh? I was just trying to be funny, that's all. Me? Compare your own... Delicious meal with Mama Delmo's meal. I am sorry. You are the best cook in the world. Yeah. I feel so, so weak. I'm sorry. Please, maybe you take tea or noodles or something. Please. Okay. Okay. Is she my dear? have gone to the hospital and I wouldn't have known that I have malaria. <laughs> oh, she my dear. You see? And you didn't want to go before. Yes. It's not like that. It's not like I that. knew it. I knew it. Argument. See, putting up an argument instead of simply apologizing. Eh? You are you, you are pretending and arguing. So you, 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 you expect me to, to start begging you now or running around, eh? pampering you in the name of malaria. Is that what you expect? Don't worry. It's okay. What you have chosen to do is very good. Anyway, my mom is going tomorrow and I won't beg you to cook for me, if you like. Where is Jumobi? Didn't you tell her to come to the dining? 
I told her to come over. Now tell me, are you people quarreling? No, why did you say that? Oh, shame, my dear. They will more. Is in 